Sony has made two legendary handheld consoles that were kind of failures for the company. The PSP and the PS Vita are some amazing handheld consoles that people absolutely loved, but they had their flaws. Sony currently doesn't make any handheld devices and they've been out of production for quite a long time now. The PSP wasn't actually a total bomb as it sold about 80 million units which is a crazy number but it quickly went downhill. The PSP in my opinion was so ahead of its time. The screen was so clear and crisp but the interface was amazing and unlike anything else around that time and there were just so many features on that device too that like the DS didn't have. The PS Vita was also extremely cool and it also had some amazing titles on it, but both consoles were just released at a bad time overall. The PS Vita ended up selling about 16 million units, which is a lot, but it's definitely not that great compared to the PSP. The Wii U was kind of in a similar boat. I think the PS Vita just barely outsold the Wii U, and we all know that the Wii U was kind of a failure too. But the PS Vita was just a great console, but people have definitely come to appreciate this console more now. Around the time of the PSP, Nintendo was definitely on top when it came to portable gaming. Most people preferred their PlayStation product to be their at-home console and take their Game Boy or DS out when they're on the go. And the PS Vita just seemed to not have a lot of talk about it. The advertisement just was terrible for it. I feel like a lot of people didn't even know the PS Vita existed. Personally, I never knew the Vita existed. I don't know how. I never heard of it until like a few years after. And a few years after the PS Vita, the Nintendo Switch was announced. As we all know, the Switch is an insanely successful console. The Switch has kind of made a lot of people realize how much they like handheld gaming for sure. Like the Analog Pocket, which is like a Game Boy type of handheld device. If you guys never heard of that, that's always sold out. The Steam Deck is doing pretty well for itself too, and it definitely has a pretty big following. Right now would be an amazing time for Sony to release a new handheld console if they were thinking of doing so. Like the PS5 is extremely successful. Like the PS5 is extremely successful. It's probably the top selling console at the moment, but it's always sold out. People can't find one. I've seen like one at the store in the last like two years. So I think it'd be kind of cool if there would be another Sony console on the market currently because that would allow people to buy whatever the new handheld device that Sony would have. So for example, like imagine you really had just been wanting a PS5 but there's also a new PlayStation handheld device that also has some cool exclusive titles and everything. We could also play some of the PS5 games. I feel like it would be great if we could go buy something like that. Just to have something on the shelf that consumers can go buy and have more PlayStation products. Because as we all know, like everybody wants a PS5. Everyone's always talking about it. You could argue that the handheld console would just counter the sales of the PS5. Which is kind of true. But I also think that the PS5 is still going to stay on top. Because it's everyone's preferred console at the moment over Xbox and the Switch. I mean, the Switch is in its own ball game, so I don't think it would counteract the sales of the PS5 too much. Another reason why Sony should definitely make another handheld console is because the Vita and the PSP have a huge following. People are always talking about it. People still play games on them on a day-to-day -day basis. There's so much content still being produced for the Vita and the PSP. Like just recently, there's been a lot of talk about the Vita because there's a new way to mod it or emulate games on it and stuff. So it's like they're always in talks and people just love these consoles. If you think about it, Sony's also kind of been making small steps into the handheld world. Like they're not totally unaware of it. Like they've allowed the Steam Deck to play some of the PlayStation exclusive games, which kind of means that some of their games are already optimized for handheld devices. When I say like Sony allowed them, it's like Sony like gave the Steam Deck permission to have some PlayStation games on it. Sony's also made like official controller grips for the iPhone to play when you're trying to cloud game or whatever it's called on the PS5. So you can play your PS5 on your phone and you put your phone in like this grip that's a controller to make it easier to play your games, which is a really cool product, but it's like Sony's like right there, you know what I mean? Like they're kind of in the handheld department still nowadays, but also not at all. Sony just also makes some amazing titles with some amazing storylines, so they can make some really cool exclusive games for the new handheld if they ever made one, of course. Handheld gaming has just been going on an upwards trend recently, and it's just growing every single day. Sony didn't market the Vita correctly, of course, but I'm sure they've learned from that, and they could do some really effective and good marketing for the new handheld. And it seems like they're kind of more focused on the PSVR right now, like they just announced the PSVR 2, or they just released it actually, which is cool, but like the PSVR is not selling like very well compared to the Vita even. I think the PSVR has sold even less than the Vita. Which I know they probably think VR is the future of gaming, which I don't entirely agree with. I think VR is like cool and whatever, but I don't think 
it's the future of gaming. Like, I don't think that's where all games are gonna head one day. I think there's still gonna be a fine line between regular games and VR games, for sure. Overall, I just think right now, or within the relative near future, would be an amazing time for Sony to release a new handheld console. As you know, the PSP and the Vita have a great following behind them. People love them, people still want them and still buy them every single day. Handheld gaming is always going up. The Switch kind of opened people's eyes again about like, hey, handheld gaming is sick. Like, you know, the DS and 3DS were amazing and they were definitely on top when the PSP and PS Vita were out. But I think now it's a little different. Like there is no DS, like the Switch is a at home and kind of handheld console. But if Sony released a new handheld console, I think it would be pretty successful. I think now's the time to do it if they ever were gonna do it. Let me know what you guys think though Of course this video doesn't mean they're actually ever going to I have no idea. I hope they do I would probably buy one if they released a handle the console But yeah, let me know what you guys think make sure to leave a like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video